Hello everyone, Tia Sosen for the Tea Crane here. Today I want to talk about boxes. The most important items to keep your tea utensils safe are these beautifully created wooden boxes. Um, they're usually made from polonia wood. They have inscriptions with the details of who the artisan was, what the object is uh, that is included, and they are a perfect way for storing your tea utensils. I have three boxes here. This is a box. This is a larger one. These boxes, of course, come in all different sizes. And this is a larger one that is for a cold water vessel and uh, mizusashi and this is a smaller one in which a um, tea flask a chaide is contained and then i have a box for an um, a tea bowl this is a larger tea bowl it's a larger box as well but what i want to do today is to show how to tie these boxes because yes i know the first time you get a uh, beautiful traditional tea ceremony utensil you're happy to bring it home you're looking at this beautiful box you open it you appreciate your utensil and then you're like hmm I want to put it back in the box close the box and now I'm left with these cords and how do I try how I how do I tie this box so I just want to show you how the box is tied so that you can do it with your own utensils and that you don't have to worry about making messy knots or anything anymore. There's a very simple method to it and I will show you that method at once. So first of all what you need to know is that there are two loose ends and there is one loop. This is usually one cord that let me just tilt this up you can see it's crossed through the bottom so what you have is several layers of wood here and in one layer there's cut out and made specially for the cord to get through so it's one long cord that has the center of it atop the center of the lid now then the cords are crossed through and run out through the sides and you want to use these cords to tie the box now another thing that i should point out first before we tie the box back is that the grain of the lid is always running vertical on other items like for example trays the grain runs horizontal but with these boxes the grain of the lid is always vertical so you you make out where the loop is and you want to have the loop in the upper left corner that will make it easiest for you to um, tie it and you make sure then because if the upper left corner is where the loop is then this is the front of the box you always they care about the fronts of utensils and so you also want to know where the front of the box is so that next you can put on your lid in the right direction with the crane running vertically and hence also the characters written on it legibly so then you bring over your loop to the center and first you take the lower end you lay the lower end over the loop and then bring it under the loop through to the right and you leave it up a little bit you don't bring it down leave it up a little bit to the side so that next what you can do is to bring the right end up onto the loop here and then bring it under down pulling it a little bit to the left so it doesn't cross with this one or gets in the way it's just pulled under the loop here down to the left and then you just have to take those two ends and pull it tight 
and this will lock everything will lock the um, the lid in place will secure the box and then just keeping this center part in place with your forefinger you bring the end that you're having in your right hand now over to the left and you make a loop like so so you make a loop and you hold the center in place with your right now and then the lower end you're going to bring over the loop that you've just created and under through to make a knot to the right and then you just pull that tight make sure that the ends are even and because we are a warrior style tradition the in shoe school this is the school that i practice is a warrior style tradition we pull it tight in a single stroke which is ichimoji which is the character for one in japanese and that is um, also how we tie our hakama or how we tie the boxes other schools might uh, prefer to make uh, something like a, uh, a a butterfly motif like bringing these to stick up and make that a little bit nicer um, you can play with that yourself but the way we do it is to make this single stroke and this will neatly tie your box and that's all you have to do and that's how easy it is to tie it back so if you have a messy box still somewhere with one utensil that you really like get it out apply this to your box and you will get so much more appreciation out of it and just it's just nice to be able to take care for your utensils and to mindfully say I'm going to tie this properly and do things properly and that's really what the tea ceremony teaches us to care for the things by doing things properly and mindfully I really hope that this video was helpful for you and I also hope that one day you decide to start learning tea ceremony properly and when that day comes and I hope that's very soon because now is actually the opportunity for you to start learning tea ceremony with me because I have released my six weeks online tea ceremony course and I'd be very happy to start teaching you and to have you on board for this journey so if you're interested in learning tea ceremony then please visit the link in the description below and find out more details about my six weeks online tea ceremony course and until that time keep drinking matcha <laughs>